Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes and raise up our two hands to the Lord and sing this song loud and clear. Holy Ghost, do it again. Do it again in my life. to see Jesus who is upon the Holy Ghost do it again Holy Ghost do it again again do it again in my I'm past me not to join to Savior and my humble cry while on others that call me do not pass me Savior, 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 Savior Savior, 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 in my humble cry, why on all as thy heart call, do the Jesus, 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 Jesus.
Possibility possible in heaven to believe Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shammai. Hallelujah, possibility possible in heaven, possibility Complete, complete, complete in him. We are complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in him. I am complete. Sing it loud and clear. Complete. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. Oh, we are complete, 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 complete. Hallelujah. Complete, complete, complete in Him. Run, 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 run. The fullness of the Godhead bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the Godhead bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the Godhead bodily dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, we are complete in, complete, complete. There is nothing more that I can do for Jesus did it all. There is nothing more that I can do for Jesus did it all. There is nothing more that I can do for Jesus did it all. Oh, we are complete, complete, complete. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no problem that I can solve for Jesus solves it all. There is no problem that I can solve for Jesus solves it all. There is no problem that I can solve for Jesus solves it all. Oh, I am complete. Complete. There is no mountain that I can climb for Jesus climbs it all. There is no mountain that I can climb for Jesus climbs it all. There is no mountain that I can climb for Jesus climbs it all. Oh, I complete, complete. Hallelujah. Complete, complete. Thank you, Jesus. Raise up your right hand to the heavens, beloved. So every conspiracy against my destiny, the heavens.
scatter by fire in the name of Jesus scatter the conspiracy in Jesus name we pray wonderful God we thank you for another wonderful evening and we thank you for what you have been doing in our lives at this meeting accept our thanks in Jesus name this evening open our understanding help us to repossess our lost possessions Help us to force the enemy to vomit what it has swallowed from us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Tonight, by the grace of God, we are looking at what I call stars under attack. Stars under attack. Stars under attack. And you do well to listen very carefully to this short message, which will take us into some prayers, the kind of prayers some of us have never prayed before. Let's look at four scriptures very quickly. In Psalm 19, verse 1. Sisters, what's our topic for this evening? Brothers? Psalm 19, from verse 1 to 6. Psalm 19 from 1 to 6. I'd like you to pay attention to the careful wordings of the psalmist here. The heavens, not only one, it's plural, declare the glory of God. And the firmament showeth his handiwork. The heavens, verse 1 again, declare the glory of God. And the firmament showed its handiwork. Meaning that the heavens can make a declaration over a man's life and over the earth. The heavens can make a declaration over your life and over the earth. Yeah. So the firmament showed its handiwork. So the firmament reveals something. That is, the heavens can also show things, they reveal secrets. So the heavens talk. The firmament shows. In verse 2, it says, Day unto day uttered speech, confirming the fact that the heavens do speak. Each day has his own speech. And these things may change from day to day and from time to time. Day unto day uttered speech. And then, night unto night show it knowledge that is a mystery of the night there's a knowledge hidden in the night there's some things that we you will never know except at night there are some prayers that are best prayed at night that's why jesus said will god not avenge his saints who cry unto him day and night there are some prayers for the day there's some prayers for the night the sun, the moon, and the stars, they speak. And look at verse 3. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. That is, these elements, they're the same all over the world. Their line is gone out throughout the whole earth. And their words to the ends of the earth. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoiceth as a man going to run a race his going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof so the heavens do speak unfortunately the words of jesus has come to pass again he says the children of darkness they are wiser in their own ways than the children of light the heavens do speak but some satanic men can hear them talk so much for a little bit of comment on Psalm 19 now in Matthew chapter 2 Matthew chapter 2 from verse 1 if I were in your shoes I will look at these scriptures very carefully 
The enemy does not bother any destiny that does not bother him. The enemy is not interested in your life if he finds that your life is useless anyway and it comes for nothing. But immediately God announces your program in heaven and the enemy hears it and you don't know it. The battle of your life begins. In Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. Mystery of mysteries. Those men were able to locate the star of Jesus and they came to trace it. Look at verse 7. Verse 7 of chapter 2. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. What does he need with that information? He wants to carry out a counter attack against the star. Unfortunately, those men deceived him. They didn't tell him the truth. That is, there were some men in Babylon called wise men. And they were able, by looking at the sky, locate the star belonging to Jesus. Meaning, beloved, that there are men with ability to decode the speakings of the heavens. These men, they are mostly evil. Because some of the things we Christians who settle down and learn, we are not serious with them yet. We are busy fighting ourselves. Every time I see a woman die of cancer, this cancer, that cancer, that, I fold my head and say, what can we do? What kind of prayer can we pray so that this kind of thing don't kill women? These are the kind of solution evangelism we should be doing. We are still busy fighting ourselves. The demonic people can look at the heavens and, and know that a child is born at a nation. And that this child is going to become this, going to become that, going to become that. And right there, if they want to extend their wickedness, they can do something to that star. Like it is written in Daniel chapter 8. There are people here this evening who need to pray until their voice gives way. Because the star is already cast down. Look at Daniel chapter 8. Look at what a particular power did from verse 9 to 10. This is exactly the situation now. Which is why we are gathered here this evening before we enter into another year. Look at Daniel chapter 8 from verse 10. From verse 9. And out of one of them came forth a little horn which wags exceeding great towards the south and towards the east and towards the pleasant land. And it works great, even to the host of heaven. And what did he do? And it cast down some of the host and of the stars to the ground and stamped upon them. It cast the stars down from the heavens. He now stamped on those stars so that they don't raise their head again. Close your eyes, beloved. Every power that says, I will not lift my head. Can you say it with boiling anger? Can you shout it louder than the person close to you? Tonight, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He cast the stars down. And then to ensure that the thing does not rise again, he stamped on it. You say, ah, but these stars, does it mean that these stars are human beings? In Genesis chapter 37, look at verse 9. 
See, those ancient men understood many things that we don't know. In Genesis chapter 37, look at verse 9, referring to the dream of Joseph. Genesis 37, verse 9. And he dreamed yet another dream, and told it to his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more, and behold, the sun and the moon, and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. His parents understood the dream straight away. They didn't need any interpretation. They knew. They knew that by the sun and the moon, he was referring to his father and his mother. And by the stars, he was talking about his brethren. They understood it. If they had told some of us that kind of dream, we would probably say, well, maybe it's witchcraft power trying to attack you. No. The interpretation was just a human beings. The Bible says there is one glory of the sun, there is one glory of the moon, there is one glory of the stars, but one star is greater than another in glory. When satanic powers, they want to finish up a person, the first area of attack they head towards is in the womb. If you escape that one, and I say, okay, let's go for sexual attack. If they fail in that one, bring his urine. If they fail in that one, bring his feces. Bring his saliva. Bring his hair. Bring his fingernails or whatever. When they now try all these things, and they find that it's impossible to deal with the person, they now go to men who operate altars in the stars. That is men and women who visit heavens. Men and women who visit the heavens. Why do men visit the heavens? Number one, is to obtain direction. Just to visit heavens. To obtain direction. Number two, is to know the future. Because heavens speak and heavens know. Number three, is to cage progress. Number four, is to destroy people. Number five, is to control situations. Number six, is to manipulate whole communities. A single man in a village who can speak to the evilness is the control of the village. And they fear him exceedingly. Number seven, is to manipulate white from the evilness. Number eight, is to gain advantage over other men. Number nine is to oppose God and his kingdom agenda. This is why men visit heavens. I pray that any power visiting heavens against you tonight shall be cast out and disgraced. Yeah. If I were you, that says that my amen will be so loud. <laughs> yeah. Number ten, men visit the heavens to gain Political leadership. We'll explain that one at a later date. Number 11, men visit the heavens in order to dominate. 12, men visit the heavens in order to obtain protection. 13, men visit the heavens in order to get provisions and supplies. And the last but not the least, men visit the heavens in order to attack the stars of others and destroy their destinies. To attack the stars of others and destroy their destinies. Beloved, what we're talking about tonight is something that will take you back to when you were born. It's something that will take you back to the day they were giving you your name. Your name is Ceremony Day. Many of us may not even know the number of names they gave to us that day. And many of us not even know, you may not know who suggested your name or who gave you your name. This has ensured that a lot of people go about with witchcraft names. Thereby renew the covenant for star demotion. These men saw the star of Jesus. They traveled all the way from the east. They placed themselves in peril and, at, and they spent a lot of money. Just to see the owner of this star. In the olden days in this country and even now in some areas. Immediately a child is born. 
they carry out a spiritual investigation into the future of that child. And once they look at that one, this is where the trouble of many begins. This is why some people never went to school. Because they have investigated the star. They say, if this one goes to school, we shine. So don't let him go. If this one marries a proper husband, this one will shine. So quick, 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 quick. Give, it, give her a demonic boyfriend in primary school. They started because they could see to it. The enemy does not attack people with inferior qualities. But when he says that the quality of your life is superior, you come under attack. Now the mystery is this. Unto every man and woman, a space in the heaven has been allocated. That's why the Bible talks about thy heavens, which is over thine head. Each man has an allocation in the ear space over his head. And in addition, everyone has a star. They say, we have seen a star in the east. We have seen a star in the east. And this is why we have come to worship him. So sometimes when this star is known to wicked people, they begin to do all kinds of strange things against that star. They begin to attack the progress of such people. They begin to program words into the star of an individual so the person will not experience progress. So a lot of people are under this star bondage. That star is like an embodiment of your destiny. Like a carrier of the destiny of the person. And so there are Terrible, evil people. This is what they specialize on. If God opens your eyes and sometimes you go to a naming ceremony, you can see spiritual stars on the head of that baby. Sometimes shining with different colors of gold, silver, and sometimes the astrologers will read this star from the palm of a person. But thank God if somebody's stars has not been destroyed, you can recover it easily through some prayers. But if, if it's like Daniel chapter 8, it has been cast and they stamped upon it, then you need to specially pray for a creative miracle. The prayers tonight are to be prayed in boiling great anger. I must have shared this with you before. Two men quarreled at a naming ceremony of a child. And they were shouting at each other. And no one knew why they were fighting. But the truth is that the two men were occultic men. They, they, they came there... They said they want to come and do naming ceremony with them. But they were quarreling. So why do you take everything? Ah, out of seven, leave three for me. Ah, leave two for me. Ah, you can't take everything. You can't take everything. And they started fighting. Before they could know what was happening. And the man of God there intervened. What happened was that immediately they brought the baby out for dedication. For naming. Seven stars appeared on the edge. And this occultic man was collecting them. Collected one, two, three, four. So his friend who was also there was believing that after collecting four, he will stop so that he can collect the other three. But the stars were so bright, the man collected all seven. And they started quarreling. Amen. That child got that mercy. By the time he will enter school, when they say two plus two, we say three. Because he's so confused. The stars have been stolen away. Close your eyes again, beloved. You will say this with boiling anger. Say it the way you have never said anything before. The power of darkness. I jack in my star. Can you say this with boiling anger? Da! In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. From the power that has caged you. Tonight is tonight. Please. 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 From their group. Continue. Continue. Something is happening over there. Something is happening over there. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. I'm making good progress. The Bible talks in the book of Jude. The Bible talks about wandering stars. That is, a person's star can be programmed to wander. So, the person is just moving around like a vagabond. Vagabond. From this place to that place. From that thing to that thing. 
no specific aim in life. The star has been programmed to wonder. Programmed to wonder. 1981, we were inside a train in London. I was inside that train too. Two Nigerian women were sitting in that train. When the train stopped at a particular bus stop, or at a particular station, one man entered, a black man. Saliva was on his beard. His hair was rough and dirty. He looked like somebody who has been dug out of the ground. His clothes were smelling. So he sat down. And this woman started speaking. They were speaking Yoruba. Look at this one now. Look at this one. Look like somebody who has, who has been removed from the toilet. Immediately, this train so let us go to another place. Oh. Don't, don't, don't let us stay here. I could understand them. They were speaking Yoruba, but they didn't know whether I was in, I'm a Nigerian or not. So that's what they were speaking about. This man I just entered. All of a sudden, they, they, to their amazement, the fellow they were talking to opened his mouth and said, Konid Dafumba Bai. I said, hey. Immediately the train stopped. The woman ran out. There was a man. The day he left Nigeria, somebody probably celebrated a party. Not knowing that as he went, his star was programmed to wander and get nothing. There are several wicked things that can be done to a person's star. Number one thing is that it can be shut down. When it is shut down, the person becomes a living corpse. The star can be dimmed. When it is dimmed, the person will lose his former glory. The star can be covered. When it is covered, the person expires. I pray that you and I will not expire in the name of Jesus. The star can be obstructed. When it is obstructed, the person stagnates. The star can be caused to sink. When it is sunk, the person will live on past glory. The star can be exchanged. When it is exchanged, the person will live a fake life. And everywhere the person goes, there will be a big sign say, road closed everything road closed road closed this star can be caged so really the person is shining is brilliant intelligent but is not moving this star can be tampered with a tamper with it so the person will keep dreaming of good things but that goes good things never happen physically so a lot of wicked things could be done to the star. The, like I said before, the star could be caused to wander. That's roaming all over the place. Roaming all over the place. And wickedness will now capture the person. So tonight, I want you to know that these things that I'm saying now may sound very strange to some of us. But then once you have been located that you are a shining star, and your enemy knows that one too. The battle of your life starts. You don't have to offend anybody. You don't have to say that. You don't have to steal anything from anybody. The battle will start. I pray that tonight. You will be able to pray to a point of breakthrough. <laughs> I used to think that Tai and Kende are very good friends. Until the day I found a Kende who said pray for me sir. But don't call fire. In fact, the fire was the first thing I called. And she began to confess. That she has placed the life of Taiye on the shelf. That until she gets married and, and has three children, that Taiye will not marry. No, no, six, six. Until she has six children, that Taiye will not marry. And that she already has three. And Taiye is still angry. How were they able to do that one? They dealt with her star. They dealt with us that. 
they held it in one position. So you can't move. Close your eyes again. Every power that says my star will not move. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Peace Open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You must possess your possession before we enter into the new year. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go on a little bit further. What are the strategies of these star attackers? Number one strategy. Prevention of birth. Don't want the person to be born. Sometimes the baby is born, the baby refuses to cry. They will seriously attack the mother. They've seen the star. Two. Attack in the womb. Three. Attack as a baby. Like the one I described to you where the stairs and the head of that baby was cleared away on the naming ceremony day. Struggle. The struggle to take away what belongs to her. And they transfer it to other people. Four. Quarrel some parents. All quarrel some parents expose the star of their children to danger. Five. five. Household witchcraft. Particularly polygamy. If you come from a polygamous home, don't let anybody give you any lecture. You need deliverance from evil star attackers. Or you check your son's name, you find him far away, me, far this, far that, and the ocean, this, that, that, all those kind of terrible names. <laughs> don't let anybody give you a lecture. Your star will already have been tampered with. Six, they use envious enemies. Seven, they cause sex with satanic agents. You sleep with an agent of Satan, then you are in trouble. You might have gathered the star of the person. Eight. Dreams of spiritual thieves. You see them coming to steal from you. Nine. Food in the dream. And once there is food in the dream, sicknesses will be planted. Prayerlessness will be established. Business and marriage are paralyzed once there is eating in the dream. 10. Padlock bondages. They could lock up people's stars and throw them away. 11. Construction of coffins for those who are not dead. Tiny coffins for some people. Then they bury the thing. The person would not know that they've just handed over your star to Mother Earth. And the next strategy they use is this sponge people use to go and bathe. If you have ever been to the stream by a prophet or prophetess and they bath you with sponge, you need to pray hard. They might have used those, the sponges to wash your glory and stars away. The next strategy is to use the air. If you are in this meeting today and you notice that some part of your air was cut off and you didn't know how it went, you need to pray. You just woke up and found that somebody else, your air has been cut off. You need to pray. Any naming ceremony that is done with anything satanic. Dead rats, alligator peppers, all those things, you make your stars available to be dealt with. What are we here to do tonight? We're here to summon the star attackers. We're here to deliver our stars from their hands. And why are we preaching this kind of message tonight? I saw a revelation. A long queue of people in this fellowship. And there was an angel carrying a bucket. And inside the bucket were stars. Stars. And there was a long queue. The angel wanted to start distributing that star to people. So I began to ask questions. What is this inside the bucket? I said there are stars. And the angel kept quiet. Didn't talk again. But I still was not satisfied. I said, but... Why are you giving this to... Why do you want to give this to them? 
They now answer the game. Say they are stolen stars. Ah, stolen stars. Then get kept quiet again. And did not and was not telling me much. I said, stolen from who? I said, ah, from them. I said, but why are you just bringing these things now? I said, because nobody asked us to bring them back. Nobody asked them, asked us to recover them. So this is why we are doing the star recovering prayers here tonight. And you will see outstanding results okay. of what will happen. The Bible says, whosoever asks, receives. If you knock, it shall be opened unto you. If you seek, you find. So if you don't ask, nothing happens. And this is why the Bible said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So the first thing you should do tonight is to repent of anything you know will hinder you. And number two is to think deeply on whether there is any area in your life that you have opened the doors to these star hijackers. And the third thing you should do tonight is to pray whatever prayer I ask you to pray here the way you have never prayed before. I want us to pray the same, that kind of prayer that brought the angel back to Samson's mother. Because the first time the angel appeared, the father did not see the angel. They requested for a reappearance. So we need to pray for a reappearance of that angel with that bucket and the stars. Because my concern that he did not, all this question I was asking him, he has not started distribution, he was just out. Rise up on your feet, beloved. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. You are here this evening. You are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Please do so very quickly. Don't lose out in what God wants to do here tonight. We are here, you say, yes, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Just raise up your right hand where you are and say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you today. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life as from today. I say bye-bye to the devil in Jesus' name. Amen. If you say that short prayer with me, immediately we close. Just find a way to the front end. Amen. Listen. If the star of your life is supposed to prosper in a particular geographical area and they move you to another street, they move you to another area, that's all. There are some mothers. They will talk, they will, they will, they are talking about their little girl, a girl of uh, one or two. And they see one old man who is around 60, 70 years, 50 years. He said, Daddy, this is your wife. This is your wife. Your mother is dimming your star. Dimming your star. The person works hard and works hard and works hard. Everything you attain in life is by struggling and fighting and struggling and fighting. It means somebody is tampering with your star and speaking sluggishness into it. Get yourself ready. The first prayer I wanted to pray. I wanted to pray the way you have never prayed here before. Every naming ceremony bondage. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Continue, continue. Masika poya bo shedera bo kapia, ribala bo kapanda sete ya bo sha. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus, then we pray. Well, 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 well. We have not started praying that prayer yet. Not started at all. There are people here tonight. That if they pray well, they'll be amazed at the turnaround breakthrough they will have. The strange husband that has married you off on your naming ceremony day. The strange hands that carried you there. 
the strange pomade that was, at, that was applied on your ear. The strange people who gathered around to give you your name. This prayer is a deep prayer. Sisters, can you say it again loud and clear? Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. That is better. Thank you, Jesus. Every evil wise man pursue my star. Some wise men follow the star of Jesus. We're talking about anyone following your own now. Can I hear the brothers shouting it loud and clear? Sisters, shout it loud and clear. Everybody together now. Da! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Today is today. Enough is enough. You must possess your possession in every ramification, whether the devil likes it or not. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. The angel is back again. The angel is back again. Now, I want you to pray like this. My buried glory. Jesus. Yes. Continue, continue. Continue, continue. Look at what this happened. Look at what this happened. Masete kaya bo shente rabo kolaba. Yes, be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. From the grip of wickedness, be released, be released, be released. Aha, aha, aha. Yes, arise, shine, 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 arise, shine. Moshikara bo sepola kaya bo shente rabo kora bo kosente rabo. Yes. Yes. Pia rika sepela kaya boshente yaba. In Jesus name we pray. Ah ah. The distribution has started. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Every power that is attacking my star. Can you say it loud and clear? I bury you today in the name of Jesus. Aha, aha. Masipokote Rabo Shente Rabaka. Holy Ghost fire. Begin to approach now. Yes, every power that has vowed to defeat you, 
Let them be defeated. 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 Yes, possess your possession. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. Power of God. Flow. 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 Spirit of the living God. Move. Move. Masikate aboshente rabokola barabosante. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I wish you could see what is happening here tonight. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yes, all this stealing glory must be restored. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. You open your mouth again like fire and like thunder. This one is a very serious matter. Every star padlock. Star padlocks. The program, the person starts into a padlock and lock it up. And that's it. Nothing happens again. The person lives a second hand life. Can you say this with boiling anger? Can you shout it louder than that? Fashion against my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Open that my beloved. That's why Jesus brought you here. Deal with the padlocks. Deal with the padlocks. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sing this song loud and clear to celebrate what the Lord has just done here. Sing it loud and clear. Lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings. Lift up Jesus. He is Lord of Lords. King of King, King of King, ah. you are highly lifted up. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Are you? One more time, one more time. And you are. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We have three more prayers to pray on this tonight to put a seal on that which has happened here already tonight. You will say this loud and clear. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous from the dead are the same. Say, my destiny. My destiny. Run. Run. Into the strong tower the of the Lord. Can you say that, sisters? Let me hear you. Yes? Uh -huh. Brother, say the same thing. Uh -huh. In the name of Jesus. 
Command that blessing to run to that strong tower of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. When the star of Mordecai began to shine, the first thing God did was to remove sleep from the eyes of those who would help him. And the king just could not find sleep until he remembered Mordecai. You will raise up your voices like thunder. Power to remember. Fall upon my helpers. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Say those who do not know me shall fight for my cause. Can you say this loud and clear? Yes. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Wonderful God, we thank you for this evening. As some people go, I cover now with the blood of Jesus. The stars of your life that have been released tonight shall not be stolen by the powers of darkness. The eyes that neither slumbers nor sleep shall be upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.